Hey everybody, welcome back to Road to Tier 10 Swedish Heavies. We're on Tier 8, finally up to an actual heavy tank, rather than the mediums and the lights that led us up here. We've got the Emil 1 unlocked, this is it here. I've done a few games in it. Uh, it is still stock though, so we're going to go out for the authentic stock experience back with the traditional Road to Tier 10 format, the, uh, the live commentary. So I'll just show you what we've got on it at the moment, uh, equipment wise and all that stuff. So... I've got uh, Vert Stabs, Vents, and GLD, which is kind of a bit of a strange lineup. But you can't have um, you can't have Rammer because it's an auto loader. So I just kind of went with that. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe Optics, I guess, could be could be useful as well, or or Toolbox maybe, Spool Liner. But I don't know. I went for the the double aiming double aiming ones and the Vents. We'll uh, we'll see how that that plays out for us uh, supplies wise. Uh, pretty standard. I've got a little bit of Prem in there, a little bit of uh, HE. It has a, not that, I don't think I'll ever use that HE to be honest, but yeah, in, that, in actual fact, I mean, I'm never going to load a clip of HE in this thing, am I? So let's just put that away. Um, I mean, by the time you've seen a target, you're going to, you know, you want to shoot with HE. You, are you going to reload for 30 seconds so you can shoot it? And is it still even going to be there to shoot? Yeah, probably probably not worth carrying. Uh, yeah, we've got Auto Fire Extinguisher Repair and First Aid Kit. Yep, sure. Uh, and our crew is on three skills now, three and a bit skills. So uh, we'll get in there, Hans Vandal, uh, presumably one of the Sabaton band members. We'll show you the, the packages real quick. Uh, so here we are. This is the stock one. It's a pretty simple uh, path compared to a lot of tanks in the game. You start totally stock with this uh, this 105. I'll show you here. It has 179 base pen and 320 alpha damage. This is the one we're working towards. We're nearly there, so hopefully you might get that today if we uh, get a decent couple of games or manage to get a double. That's just going to give us a uh, an engine upgrade, a track upgrade, and a radio upgrade. And then we need another uh, another little bit on top of that to get the top gun, which is a little bit of an increase in pen. Uh, damage is the same. Rate of fire is slightly increased. So I'm not sure if that's uh, more more shots in the in the clip or just the a quicker. Rate of fire, I think it maybe has more in the clip, but we'll, we'll find out when we get there, I guess. 3.2 aim time, 0.38 accuracy, so slightly higher aim time. Oh god, the aim time is already very long. So that's gonna be uh that's gonna be quite painful. Certainly aim time is one of the uh, one of the more frustrating things about this tank at the moment. Uh, and then we get the ML2 at tier 9. So yeah, I think we'll I think we'll get through this one okay. But uh let's jump in. Let's just check out ops real quick in case there's any good good XP ones we can use. Some bits from my uh, Cyber Monday sales. I bought the uh, Scorpion G on Cyber Monday, and I bought this thing when it was on the uh, base base price in store the other day. Right, what do we got? That. I mean, we're not going to get that done today, really, but we'll put it on anyway, I suppose. There's no other XP ones, I don't think. Nope, no other XP ones. We've still got some of these boosts. I used a couple of them uh, on the previous previous tank, but not many. So I've still got these times threes. I'll probably use some of those maybe once it's fully upgraded. I feel it's kind of okay at the moment, so. You know, if it's not bad to grind, then I'll just save them and use them on the tier 9 if I feel I need to. Uh, but like I said before, you know, I tend to tend to save those boosts for, you know, getting through. You want to use them for getting through, you know, the hard times. Not if it's You don't want to use them to get through the easy times because then, you know, it's a waste. When you get to the hard times, you used all your boosts up, you're not going to be laughing. Tier 9 game to start us off, but no artillery, which is uh, which is pretty promising. It's one of the uh, one of the new tigers over there. They seem pretty popular. Quite a few people rocking out in those, uh, despite their pretty pretty high cost. So yeah, this thing this thing's been pretty fun. The first uh, first few games, it it's quite it can be quite painfully slow. So I'm looking forward to getting that engine and track upgrade. I think that's going to help a lot. Um, but the the gun's been you know the gun's been pretty decent. I find. I mean, the, like I said, the aim time is uh, not, you know, not the best. Where's everyone going? Kind of this way. I feel like I should probably go over here. I'm going to go over here. But, uh, yeah, it, I just found it's able to dish out damage quite fairly reliably. At least enough damage to, you know, to be satisfactory when grinding a tank. I haven't really had any, you know, crazy, crazy huge games in it yet, but I've been able to, you know, those, if you can get four pens away, which isn't too tough in this thing before you die, uh, you're going to do, an, you know, enough damage to get you, 
a respectable amount of XP, providing your team wins and help you on your way to your grind. It's also got a little bit of a uh, little bit of turret armor, we'll, uh, so you can certainly bounce some shots. It, it kind of looks very much like a French autoloader, uh, but it actually actually has some armor, which is uh, which is interesting. So I guess that's building up to the uh, the Cran van, which is the you know incredibly <laughs> well armored and angled armored uh, tier ten. So yeah, looking forward to trying out that. Man, I never really go around here. I normally just go in the middle and uh, we hit this guy. Again. Oh. Oh well. Well, we'll reload. It's a bit of a. It takes a bit of getting used to getting having a four-shot clip. Feels like quite a small clip for an autoloader for me. I guess it's just the, the tanks that I've been used to using. Tend to have sort of you know six shots minimum, right? This guy's still here. So four can be a bit painful at times. But uh, but yeah, I think it's it's probably been I don't know it's probably on par with the with the Leo for the the least painful stock grind so far. I haven't had to you know I haven't played as many games in this thing yet, so we'll uh, we'll wait and see a little bit. But is this somewhere I can get a hold down over here? I've kind of just been uh, just drove over here and assumed there would be right. I guess we can we can push up this hill towards these guys. WTF Scrat. Yeah, I haven't I haven't noticed uh, I haven't been struggling too much with with pen on this thing. It's not I don't it's not crazy pen on the stock gun, but it seems reliable enough to you know to go through if you aim in sensible places on enemy tanks, it seems to go through just about okay. The Prem rounds seem seem adequate for going through, you know, tier tens in most situations. Oh, hello, what have we got over here? There we go. This might be a bit of a struggle on this guy, but if he keeps his Back to us, we might be alright. Or if we can come up, uh, come up next to him. He's fighting this heavy over on my right. Who's this TD? Is that the line of sight here? Oh yeah, we looked just in time, didn't we? Is he tracks? Oh, we got one away. We got one away. Is this guy gonna come for me? Oh come on, we blew up the house. One. There we go. Okay, we got two into him. We're going to take a hit in return now. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he's shooting at he's shooting at that guy. Excellent. Okay, well we managed to survive uh, survive a little bit longer thanks to that. Who's he shooting at? Someone over there? Or did he just really badly miss me? He might me. I think he might just really badly miss me. You know? No, oh, did you miss me? He is. Wow. I think I've got my got my camo now on. <laughs> he's not not bothered, is he? Uh, okay. You gonna is he gonna hide behind the King Tiger? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's gone. All right, we'll, we'll come help push. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, fine. Like I've been trolled by T10s quite a lot recently with, with their spaced armor on the sides and stuff, particularly. Uh, so that's quite satisfying to go through him him reliably. It looks like our team's gonna absolutely smash this game. So hopefully we can we can pull out a couple more pens. Would be nice to just uh, beef up that XP a little bit. Who was spotted me? Oh, was it the I6 spotted me? That I was kind of hoping there'd be someone over here that I could shoot. Ready to fire. Right, we'll get we'll get a shot on this guy before he dies. Right. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Come on, one more, one more, one more. Are you me? Come on, I6 is. Fine, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, so uh, you know, it's not you know not crazy pen, but uh, but it does the job. Four pens. I would have liked to get a little bit more, but our team has just steamrolled over them so quickly. <laughs> it's been it's been hard to get a huge amount done. What have they got left? They got an emerald to ascent, light tank, and a plot. So I guess they're all going to be round on this side. It looks like that's where they broke through. And you can see the uh, the slightly lackluster engine coming into play. Now it's uh, it's a bit of a bit of a slow beast, especially going uphill. I was playing it on El Halouf yesterday, trying to get up the hill on El Halouf with a stock Emil One was uh, was 
pretty pretty tragic. I felt like I was in a in a T95 or something. Where's the rest of them? Oh, there's the TD. Okay, cool. Where's the heavy? Is he a flag? He's got three kills. He can't be it. There he is. For a second, I thought he might have been you know hidden back at the base somewhere AFK, but uh, but he's on three kills. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to manage to uh, to make it back in time to actually to actually shoot this guy, sadly. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the price you pay for having a slow as balls tank. But we can take a moment to have a nice little look at it. It's pretty uh, pretty cool looking thing. I like it. There we go, we've got a double done, two and a half thousand, uh, not an amazing amount of XP really, pretty mediocre game, but yeah, tier nine, I think we did about as much as we um, much as we could have, we'd had a little bit more luck, or uh, crazy aiming skill, maybe we could have got a couple more pens there, but you know, pretty pretty satisfied with that given the situation. So we're on 30k, we need 33k to, uh, to get the next one, was that something I was going to look at in between games? I can't remember, so I think we'll just, uh, I think we'll just crack on. How the ops do him? Not bad, not bad. All right, well let's uh, let's jump in. Well, we've got a bit of a bit of top tier action, and thankfully we've actually uh, started on the spawn up on the hill here, because I would not have fancied it driving up here. Uh, so we'll go and fight over here. I think feels like a pretty sensible. Sensible thing to do with a with a nice hull down tank. See if we can bounce some shots on that lovely turret of ours. That's a tier eight game, but yeah, fair, fair few tier eight heavies. Tier sevens all should be uh, pretty pretty penable, pretty pretty easy pickings. Hopefully, no artillery again, which is lovely. Two artilleryless games in a row. must be my birthday so loads of our tanks seem to be going along the south which uh, isn't great but you do get the advantage up here because you they don't have a spawn up on the hill so they have to drive up so by the time they get to the top of the hill we should already have you know really taken this position which we pretty much have done now this guy's pushed right around so he's gonna spot them out um, but I'm just gonna get onto this ridge and, and play off that and hopefully hopefully we might be able to have a pretty decent game here Might get trolled by uh, by the accuracy a little bit. Who shot my butt? Is so he just going to sit there? Yeah, okay, fine. We'll keep shooting. He's moving now. Who's next? Carnarvon. Is that VK showing himself? Yep. Take like two damage my gun, so I fire. Cheeky. Well, we don't seem to be... St if they backed off or well, that medium's not really being able to spot them. There we go. Who's that? T32. I mean, you're nicely hold down, mate, but you're gonna you're gonna be stuck there. STRV 74, we can probably go for. Not too bothered about that guy. He's not really. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do too much. Oh, hello. There we go. Ding. Man, a noise. I don't think I've heard a single time in the uh, Road to Tier 10 French Heavy series. Someone shooting me in the back of the turret as well, just to give me <laughs> that lovely sound once again. We are reloading now, though, so uh, this is where they can push. Sadly, I can't twat this T-32 as much as I'd love to. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Showing myself a little bit too much there. And that is the uh, the trouble with autoloaders. So he's going to get in a scrap this guy, and probably, uh, yeah, he's going to win. But we'll see what we can do. He was... Quite handy for us to, uh, quite handy there spotting people for us, that guy. So a little bit frustrating to lose him, but what can you do? That's that aim time. Man, I'd love to hit that Borsig, but uh, he's not spotted. We're keeping him pegged back pretty nicely here, though. We've taken a couple of hits, but, you know, nothing nothing too tragic. We'll just try and uh, bait a shot, maybe. We can pen this guy, right? Apparently not. Oh, damaged ammo. That's the worst. We've already repaired. Let's find another target. 
Well, we're keeping them at bay. <laughs> well, the, the, that timer ticks closer and closer down to zero. God, this reload. I don't even want to. I don't want to even fire this shell. I don't want to see what the, <laughs> the reload is. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Oh my God! It's over a minute. Over a minute. Well, there we go. Uh, we'll just we'll just hang out for a little bit. Maybe we'll try and I guess we'll try and bait some shots. Get some spots. Oh man, who's that? Has the Borsig inside of the turret. Okay, we need to we need to stop the Borsig doing that. He's gonna kill me. He's not gonna be able to hit the side of my turret doing this as yet. Oh, that medium can though. Hee hee hee. Thirty-three seconds. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> oh, that medium's getting very close. Oh, I think that was the ball sig missing me. Yeah. No, 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 no. Salty pop. Go away, salty pop. Seventeen seconds still. Hopefully, I might have a teammate that will shoot this guy. That'd be nice. Seeing as he's uh, massively bottom tier and right out in the open. Unfortunately, all of our team is on the other side of the map, so. Can't really do a lot about it. We are nearly reloaded. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn right around on this. I'm just gonna pretend like I can't get my gun down on him. Oh no, we flocked a shot. Damn it. Oh, this guy's gonna get me. Okay, come on. Someone else shoot people. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone help. Team, shoot this annoying little bottom tier tank before the T-32 gets me. Oh, well, we're dead now anyway. Well, there we go. We uh, we did what we could. But, uh, yeah, so maybe running the... Uh, maybe a double repair kit might be a good idea in that thing. And I think that was just a bit unlucky, but getting getting damaged when you've lost your, uh, lost your uh, repair kit. Getting your ammo damaged and lost your repair kit in an autoloader can be a pretty painful experience. But uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. That's a pretty good length video, I think. Um, we've done a couple of games. So we're going to come back. I'm going to get this upgraded with the engine soon. We'll do a few videos on it. I think it's pretty fun. So um, I'll just keep putting out a video every now and again. Um, I'll try and get the tier 9 as quickly as we can. And, uh, and I'll see you there. If you fancy watching me play some of these tanks live, I've been streaming them a lot on uh, on Twitch. So if you want to check out twitch.tv slash thebeardguys. I uh, stream quite a lot in the week. In the afternoons, there's no set schedule yet, but if you go and give us a follow on on t uh, Twitch and maybe check, make sure you're on our Discord, then you can get a, not a notification whenever we go live, so you can uh, you can keep up to date with that. Nice one. All right, well, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. Would really appreciate that. My name is Ben. We are the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>